Hello everyone, I'm here with a weekend market update. Let us uh, look at weekly charts first. So we will start with spiders. So all indexes uh, had a pretty good week. Uh, you can see the percentage right there. They were all supported by 10 week moving average. So Q's IWM continues to be the strongest was up 7.83%. DIA is uh, consolidating right there, tightening up 50. Uh, very good week was up 8% ACWI emerging markets and I added uh, the Bitcoin so this one was uh, up as well again it's not really in any kind of basing pattern yet after going up significantly higher about 156% in the last 16 weeks so I'd like to see it consolidate further Arc Innovation I added this uh, because this has done really well so just want to watch how this does to give us any clues in future and then gold has not been performing well it is underneath the 200 day moving average now let's uh, look at the bulls and bears which has actually come down so this is now in uh, 57 percentile range it was in 60s as we can see it has come down so this is a good thing for the market as this aggressively aggressive aggressiveness comes down a little bit and the sentiment could help us uh, make uh, further progress here now let's look at uh, the daily charts very quick here. So spiders. So again, a nice bounce off from 50 day moving average. So a normal course of action would be a, some kind of pullback to uh, 21 day moving average. And then we can see if tightens up there and then we find some support there. Q's same thing. Uh, you know, this will bounce back at 21 day moving average. Uh, DIA bounced off 50. Uh, Grayscale Bitcoin, I would like to see this tighten up again. If we can see more tightening up and then uh, then probably you can offer a low risk buy point. 50, it is at the top of the range. So again, we, we probably can probably probably will see some kind of pullback this week. IWM or uh, blue skies, this blue line. Remember this blue line I've I've been pointing to for weeks and months now. And we should see some kind of resistance here. And then uh, let's go back to spiders. We'll go back to spiders later on. But uh, that's, that's, we can see some kind of uh, resistance here. And then, yeah, let's go back to spiders here very quick. So as we can see, this was the upper resistance line. So it found some resistance there. And now it is basically climbing up from there. If you go to Q's, we can see that this was the prior resistance line on a monthly chart. And now it's forming a new channel. So we'll have to see where this channel is formed and then um, what kind of range it sets up. So that's just uh, some information here on the indexes. Arc Innovation, as we can see again, it's on the top of the range. So we need to see some kind of pullback. And then, um, so everything is really firing at all cylinders. So again, a stimulus uh, package is in works. So we'll see if that passes. The backdrop is really bullish. Fed is very supportive. So pretty much everything is looking good. The problem is if I need to get back, I got out on my 401k, which is an index-based account, or I can only invest in ETFs and mutual funds. I'm going to have a hard time getting back in now. And that's, that's the reason why it's very hard to go in and out. So I will have to wait for the right opportunity, which is fine. My other two accounts are have full market exposure right now. I added a lot of... Uh, stocks over the course of last several weeks which i'll go over some of them uh, as we approach their earnings however meaning everything look is looking really good as long as uh, these indexes are supported by 50 day moving average i think uh, we the trend is intact so we'll have to see what what happens over the course of next few days but that's all i have so that's uh, how i am looking at this as i see these indexes in the broader market I hope uh, you have your own plan and you are executing your plan as well. And that is all I have. Have a good week. Take care.